Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. Here we have the 2020 G63 G-Wagon. Now in this video, I will show you guys all the exterior features of this brand new G-Wagon. Take a look at the interior and also listen to the sound from the engine. Now this G-Wagon has a twin turbo V8 producing 577 horsepower with 627 pound-feet of torque, finishing this gorgeous black exterior color. Also has the AMG Night Package, which offers you all these high-gloss black elements around the windows, black side mirror housings. And I love this G-Wagon because it has a very exclusive red interior, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Now let's talk about the exterior. You have these very gorgeous AMG rims with the gray brake calipers. The front brakes are perforated. Love the chrome side panel on the lower part of this G-Wagon with the chrome, dual chrome tailpipes. Take a look at the rear rims. These are AMG forged rims. And the size on these tires is 295, 40 R22. These are 22 inch rims with the gray brake calipers. The rear rims are actually perforated as well to give it more stopping capabilities. On the exterior, notice the black, high gloss black element around here running along the side of the car has some very good looking fenders which are very large finishing that mate black exterior color now let's take a look at the front you have the iconic mercedes star at the center larger than my hand front facing camera and then the vertical bars are finished in gun metal gray I do have the keys. We'll take a look in the minute. The black guard the front. You have some very large air intakes on this G-Wagon and these are fully functional air intakes. You have the even larger center air intake with the sensors at the front. These are LED headlamps, very good quality headlamps. Also the other feature is the headlamps are tinted because of the AMG Night package. Now this indicator is tinted in black. Not sure if you can see the black tint on it, the front headlamps are also have a thin tint as well. Black side mirror housings. Love this AMG badging right here. V8 by turbo inscription, which also is on the other side as well. Front perspective, you have the Mercedes star emblem badging on the hood of the car. Now let's take a look at the rear. This is a very, very exclusive G-Wagon. You have the G63 inscription on the rear, rear LED tail lights, which also have a, a tint on it. And then obviously the spare tire cover is finished in obsidian black. So this is a very, very good black exterior. And then the material is also very high quality now let's take a look at the trunk space. I told you guys, this is a very, very exclusive red leather interior. Take a look at that leather right here. You have a decent sized trunk and also you have a cargo cover, which allows you to protect your luggage. You can fit at least two large suitcases in here or three smaller ones. Now take a look at the rear rims. These are AMG forged rims, and the size on these tires is 295, 40R22. These are 22 inch rims with the gray brake calipers. The rear rims are actually perforated as well to give it more stopping capabilities. On the exterior, notice the black, high gloss black element around here running along the side of the car has some very good looking fenders which are very large finishing that mate black exterior color now let's take a look at the front you have the iconic mercedes star at the center larger than my hand front facing camera and then the vertical bars are finished in gun metal gray i do have the keys we'll take a look in the minute 
the black guard aluminium at the front. You have some very large air intakes on this G-Wagon. And these are fully functional air intakes. You have the even larger center air intake with the sensors at the front. These are LED headlamps, very good quality headlamps. Also, the other feature is the headlamps are tinted because of the AMG Night package. Now, this indicator is tinted in black. I'm not sure if you can see the black tint on it. The front headlamps are, also have a thin tint as well. Black side mirror housings. Love this AMG badging right here. V8 by turbo inscription, which also is on the other side as well. Front perspective, you have the Mercedes star emblem badging on the hood of the car. Now let's take a look at the rear. This is a very, very exclusive G-Wagon. You have the G63 inscription on the rear, rear LED taillights, which also have a, a tint on it. And then obviously the spare tire cover is finished in obsidian black. So this is a very, very good black exterior. And then the material is also very high quality. Now let's take a look at the trunk space. I told you guys, this is a very, very exclusive red leather interior. Take a look at that leather right here. You have a decent sized trunk and also you have a cargo cover, which allows you to protect your luggage. You can fit at least two large suitcases in here or three smaller ones. So it's a fairly decent sized trunk on this G-Wagon. Now if I move in, you have some accessory lights right here and also some lights on the other side. You have a power outlet here, 115 volt, and I can pull this cargo cover to actually protect your luggage, just like that. Now let's, to retract it, you just need to pull it and release. And that's the perspective from the rear. Now let's close this trunk. And that's how the doors on the G-Wagon sound. That's his sound of money right there. $220,000. These G-Wagons are selling above MSRP for at least 40, 50 grand some of the time. Now let's jump on the inside and take a look at the interior. Starting here from the door, you have very, very exclusive red leather. Your window controls are up here. You have memory seating one, two, three. You also have the Burmester high-end speaker system. You do have carbon fiber inserts on this door. You have some storage down here. And also notice the other high quality Burmester speaker system down here. You have illuminated door seals. And also you have some sports pedals. Your light fixtures and controls are down here. And then turbine looking air vents. These are very good quality air vents. And then you have this large, large instrument cluster and the center display right there. You do have speaker systems up here. And also on the other side, you have very large displays at the front, high LCD displays. You do have the AMG Performance steering wheel with the leather finishing. Also for the 2020 G-Wagon, you have some sport knobs right here, as you would see on the CLA 45 or the CLA 35 or the GT 63. So this is a sport knob first for the G-Wagon for the model year 2020. Over here, you have your suspension, comfort and exhausts. And we'll check those in a minute. Take a look at the display, high quality. Now let's take a look at the rear seating on this G-Wagon. Again, classic red exclusive with the black leather. Very good quality seats. You can have up to three adults in here. 
as you can see they have a reclining orientation right now black safety belt you do have a handlebar right here with a coat hanger there is a sunroof at the top here and then take a look at the red contrast stitching on the leather looks very 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 high quality take a look at the seat design and then you do have some storage back here and at the center you have your climate control systems so your back passengers can adjust the temperatures back here with the circular air vents turbine looking air vents there is some storage down here with the 5 volt outlet and then behind each seat you have storage as well now that's your back seats on the G-Wagon uh, take a look at this design and from the driver's perspective you can notice the spot knobs right here you have the flat bottom AMG performance steering wheel you do have control options on the left as well as on the right hand side and then love the instrument cluster and that's the door feels very good quality now driver perspective this is what we're working with now let's go ahead and change the display go to home so the center console has carbon fiber inserts this is your control knob for your media center right here so you have dynamic select your manual mode suspension traction control off your media button is right here for your volume as well as on and off also your exhaust systems exhaust valves are right here 360 degree camera system as well as the low range button right here and that's your carbon fiber analog clock down here you do have two cup holders and then um, climate control systems are down here center lock and differential systems are over here love this handlebar on the right hand side and then the glove compartment which is actually decent size and then notice the carbon fiber inserts on the inside all the way and that's your view right now if I turn the car on we can adjust the media center so let's go back to home and navigate through the media center here you have navigation radio media your phone Mercedes connect you have your vehicle system which has your seat menus if you go into that you have driver's seat this Giagon has massage feature down here so you have your massage options you have high intensity hot relaxing bag hot relaxing shoulder activating massage and the classic massage so you have climate control dynamic select which allows you to look at your engine data love this look i think it looks very very high end you have your horsepower and your pound feet of torque displays right here go back you have your vehicle data which allows you to look at different metrics on this car you can look at your orientation as well as your compass and how much pressure you're applying on the gas pedal and all the other metrics on the car direction of travel and your compass facing south right now if I go back you have dynamic data on this car now let's take a look at the dynamic data you can actually see your g-forces right here and your horsepower your pound feet of torque and the boost on this sport mode going back all the way you have vehicle assistance consumption and the light settings now this car does have ambient lighting that's why you can see all the blue flowing in the car and on the doors right there you have the 
the purple hue because of the ambient lighting on the doors and this is a view from the from the driver's perspective you have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel on the other side as well i did mention the dynamic select button right here so if you switch to sport and then we can go to sport plus so that's the sport plus look you have sport going to comfort individual as well as slippery mode on this g-wagon so those are your dynamic select options uh, notice the high-end displays and it shows you when the doors are open or ajar you have your v8 by turbo insignia right here and on the instrument cluster you have a lot of metrics you have your temperature traction control off high range and all your other good stuff on the engine how it's performing and things like that these controls here can control that menu up here you have your if i swap to the left you have your service driver assistance performance your trip navigation radio and uh, you have your phone menu as well i think i saw one other menu you have your designs and displays love this feature let's go and set it to sport and that's your sport theme or sport display you have one single dial which has all your metrics in that view and just love all the deep reds and the yellows so that's the driver's perspective on this g-wagon this car has gone on sale we cannot drive it okay let's go ahead and do a cold start on this g-wagon and let me know what you guys think about the sound Okay, so that's the V8 by turbo engine producing 577 horsepower with 627 pound-feet of torque on this magnificent G-Wagon with the classic red interior with the black leather. Now this engine is hand-built and it was built by Karim Abu and Karim did an excellent job on this G-Wagon. Uh, let's go ahead and close this guy. And that's pretty much the engine. This car has gone on sale. We cannot drive it. But thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for weekly Mercedes videos. This is Mercedes Lounge.